vegan yogi says I have highs and really I have high I I have highs and really low days that I can't snap out of. I don't know anymore. Yeah, and that's, you know, a lot of that's very normal. Um I think one of one of the things that had helped me with that is is to just realize that we are not our emotions and that your emotional state is it's going to pass kind of like clouds that pass through the sky. I know that doesn't necessarily make it more tolerable when you're in the middle of that roller coaster of emotions, but um, doing as much as you can. It's a fight, man. I, I mean, it really, really is. It's, it can really be quite the challenge to regain some emotional stability in your life. You know, it, it that was one of the biggest, the, the biggest fights in my life. It really was. And I think, what was that book? It was, I think it was the respect me rules where one of the tips that they had in there, which I loved was talking about book ending. So if you're, if you're, if you know that you're going to be going through a stressful event, like having to see them, or if something, if something happens, <clears throat> especially if you're aware that this event's going to happen to provide yourself with some sort of uh, emotional comfort before and then after that, I think that can be very helpful, whether it's journaling, if you're seeing a therapist, speaking to a therapist or calling a friend or, um, you know, just being extra good to yourself. And then all of those in between emotional states kind of throughout, throughout the day that aren't, that don't kind of spin off from these major events. I think really, I mean, depending on how, how low your lows are, but, uh, you're realizing you know, it's all part of it and that these emotions, that our emotions, even our uncomfortable ones, you know, they're not our enemy and they're all designed. They all have a message for us and I, and I guess that's, and then kind of like what I was saying, I don't know if you were, I don't think you were here yet. I, I was saying at the beginning of the live stream tonight, this one podcast I was listening to, the gal was saying to kind of, to try to reframe your understanding of certain emotions. And so she had shared that she, before she gives a talk or does a live stream, she gets really anxious. You know, she feels a little bit nauseous. It's just this kind of feeling of impending doom and like you're walking out onto the high dive kind of a feeling. And she was saying that she used to just tell herself, I feel stage fright. I feel fearful. These are feelings of fear. And now she's flipped it to where she's like, these are feelings. This is what me feeling brave feels like. This is what me feeling courageous feels like. And it's really helped her to kind of change her understanding of being vulnerable and like putting herself out there and, and understanding her feelings in like a broader way. And I think with uncomfortable feelings, we can do something similar of you know, these are the feelings of our brain trying to process trauma. These are the feelings. A lot of this pain is a reminder, our, our brain's way of trying to remind us that this is, this is not for you, that love doesn't hurt like this, that people that are good for you do not cause this kind of emotion. And a lot of those emotions that are kicked up is it's just your brain really trying to hammer home that point of, I love you, you matter and stay the hell away from this person and anybody even like this person. And I think that's oftentimes why those feelings are so intense is it's just so we really, really, really learn that lesson. So I'm so, but I'm sorry that you're going through such a hard time. I know. And I, Man, I, rem I remember how low those lows were and it's, it's awful. You are not alone, you are not crazy and you really can move forward and heal from this.